Thank you so much for staying with us. We're still talking about snapback and we're having a lot of fun here on set because motherhood would have changed our lives, you know, and learning to balance is one thing and trying to be fabulous and be a mommy. At the same I think that's a little bit I, I, difficult, yeah. ain't it? <laughs> Because there are some days you just have to get up, throw on whatever, mm -hmm. and hit the road, yeah, right? That's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't really have time to put on a full face of yeah. makeup and comb your hair properly. Comb Sometimes you hair. just have to get up and go. Yeah. You know? So it took me, what I say, um, two months now. It's two months now. Mm -hmm. I don't think in my first month I wore makeup at all. No matter oh, where I was yeah. going, I don't think I applied makeup. I'm just starting to get a little bit of mm. time, thank God for my mom. She Ooh. has been so helpful Big to me. Big up so I know, right? They're Trust so me. important. Mm -hmm. So she will stay home with baby for me mm -hmm. while I go on the road and do errands or whatever. Yeah. She's the one who has Nia right now. Mm -hmm. You know, so I have to be grateful. We have to yes. be grateful Follow, for the help Trust me, because, because otherwise... Boy, and I think, it's, no. <laughs> I think it's mm -hmm. important to have support groups. Because oh even mm -hmm. just the physical aspect yeah. of it, mm -hmm. there are a lot of times when mothers feel very insecure. Insecure, yes. After. yes. The self-esteem takes yeah, a hit. Especially true. scrolling through social media. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> or when the clothes still, and I mean, my some of my clothes still don't fit. And I'm like, Jamie, how did you wear this, this before? And mm -hmm. I was like, I don't yes. feel fat now, but how oh, did I wear this before? Have you ever been so, fat shamed yeah. or like people tell you, when are you going to oh, get back? But, Really. But, yeah, not really. For the most part, most people have been like, you look good. Most people have been like, you look fine, man. Like, yeah, you know, don't need to, need to kill up yourself yeah. or, mm -hmm. yeah. That's so that's good. what I'm good. Yeah. with you, right? So mm -hmm. it's what you're comfortable exactly. with. Exactly. So. Do, yeah. mm -hmm. do you think men are supportive after delivery? I've heard a lot of men talk about women need to lose that baby fat. Do you think they're supportive where it comes down to that? Or they know what to even say? I mean, I guess it depends on the man, you know, because yeah. you have some men who totally just, understand and yeah. they are so supportive to you. And, you know, they'll, they'll be like, you know, don't worry about it. it will, mm -hmm. You will lose it eventually mm -hmm. or get back in the gym. That's mm -hmm. all you need to do. Just get started or whatever. And then you have the other men now that don't really care. They'll be like, mm -hmm. you know, you need to lose the weight and they're so mm -hmm. inconsiderate, you know. So it just mm -hmm. depends on the, it just the depends man on who in question. With. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think men, for the most part, I mean, boy, I, I mean, I personally have not experienced a man who would be like that, you like, know, who would yeah. say to you, like, you need to lose some weight. weight. I mean, <laughs> yeah, no. but like, you know, mm -hmm. it's, she, she just had your child. So, hey. I mean, thankfully, you know, I had a good, my child's father, he was very supportive about, mm -hmm. he was kind of like, if it was up to him, I'd probably just be fat forever. <laughs> <laughs> just, we just eat hair, you know, it's like whatever, whatever works for you, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Being fat, that's not in your book, Michaela. <laughs> well, I, can't, I can't really speak much on that because I've never been overweight or I've mm -hmm. never been really big or anything like that. But, you know. Well, we're going to show you an interview that we did with someone who she doesn't even care about snapback. I'm talking about Tammy Chin. Check out this interview. Tammy Chin is our guest on set this week. She's a mom of two and still looking flawless. Let's talk about the concept of snap bag. How do you feel about that? Snap bag. Yeah. I thought you said snack bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I Greedy. feel about that. I'm like, where, are you, where the snack bag? <laughs> I think snap bag um, is just a lot of pressure on women. Um, and I think we have to remember it's a small percentage of women that actually snap back. <laughs> really? I mean, we see them all over the internet, but you know, let's be real. Like, you know, of all, all the people we know and our friends, like how many of them are really snapbacks? You know what I mean? Like it's, In them dreams. It's, yeah, but the truth is, you know, I think it's a crazy ideal. Now, some people do it naturally and kudos to them. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, there, there are people I met who are just naturally that that body shape, that body type, and go right back. But I was in no rush to try and get my body back to pre-baby. I was mm -hmm. enjoying it. I was enjoying my baby. So let's talk about how you're balancing and now trying to get back to that healthier life. Yeah, so in the last, I want to say in the last month and a half, I've made some big changes in, in the way that I eat. Um, I eat a lot more now, I think. Mm -hmm. I just eat a lot more times a day. If that makes sense so mm -hmm. i make sure that i have like you know breakfast a snack in between lunch a snack in between dinner 10 snacks later <laughs> but what i'm snacking on is different fruits and nuts and um mm -hmm. 
you know, easy things, um, carrots or whatever you can find to bite carrots. on. Carrots. But every week, I allow myself the fried chicken or the um, oxtail or the mm -hmm. curry with the whole leap of rice because that's how I live. I need balance. <laughs> I cannot restrict myself completely from anything. It's not my personality. Mm -hmm. The other big thing is that I work out every day at home. I just don't go to a gym, minutes. just 30 minutes a day. Move your body, whatever that means. If it means you just are going to jump in jacks the whole time, go for it. But um, more than a physical, um difference with exercising i feel a much um i feel a lot mental. different mm -hmm. in my mental emotional mm -hmm. state um nice. i feel a lot clearer a lot happier um and that's something moms have to be careful of like that postpartum can mm -hmm. does can that to you, you. Yeah. but what advice you have to mom now especially new moms yeah. who might be struggling with the idea of snapping back relax <laughs> relax there's no such thing that's something people made up you know um it's not your it doesn't have to be your ideal mm -hmm. how about you know i'm gonna just be the best mom i can be i'm going to find myself in this process because you're gonna meet a whole different woman being a mother thank you so much tammy thank you. so let's let's give a word of advice to mothers watching pregnant persons who <laughs> contemplating hitting the gym mm -hmm. and somebody who might be trying to get back mentally and physically mm -hmm. after baby i would say go for it and i say that because i truly believe that being fit and the whole fitness journey that i was on really helped with my delivery yeah. because it was so much mm -hmm. easier than i expected it to be in yeah. terms of the whole pushing process yeah. i felt like my muscles were stronger my body was stronger just mm -hmm. because of the gym and so the delivery was just that much easier yeah. i feel like if i did not go to the gym as frequently as I did or I, I was not on the fitness journey that I am on now, I probably would have had a more difficult time. Right. Mm. So I would say go for it. I mean, if your doctor passes you, if you are not a high-risk pregnancy, go for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Because, you know, it will benefit you in the long run. Yeah, and it's absolutely. always good to exercise and, and get your blood flow mm -hmm. going and your circulation and all of that during pregnancy, you know? Mm -hmm. You just oh. have to be careful, listen to your body. Yeah. Once your doctor gives you the go-ahead, just go. Jump on. Yeah, that's what I said. From, from doctor yeah. said go, mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. um, you'll feel better. You'll I, just feel I better about so. yourself. I honestly yeah. think so. Because, uh, you know we're women and we go yeah. through a lot during pregnancies and sometimes we have the low days and the high days mm -hmm. but i can say that going to the gym on a low day for me definitely made me feel, feel a lot better because yeah. you know it's almost as if i was able to blow off some steam yeah. or you know just, just helps you mentally better, yeah you know? i felt That's a lot true. more chirpy yeah. and happy after mm -hmm. leaving the gym you know nice and those who would have delivered already <laughs> and struggling with the baby weight <laughs> Get started then. Get started. Yeah, just get started. Mm -hmm. Cut out the flour. Take my house out the flour. How sustainably is that? <laughs> do it for like do it for like six weeks. Just mm -hmm. try just and try. then uh, when it gets it down now, then you just, you know, maintain it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it depends but on you, that's you my as advice, a person too. You know, if you mm -hmm. like to indulge in all the sweets, try to cut it down. Cut just it like down, it. yeah. Uh you know, as Jamie said, mm -hmm. the flour, whatever it is yeah. that you know you indulge a lot in then you know just cut try to back. cut it down yeah. cut back on that whatever that is if it's well mm -hmm. you know it wouldn't be liquor throughout the pregnancy but if you <laughs> yeah. like liquor after love your champagne love your wine yeah, just yeah. cut it down because my know? thing just do something about it i mean the exactly. worst thing i i hate when i hear women say oh I'm so this, I'm so, I'm like, but what are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Half the time, they're not do doing anything. It, yeah. So just do something about it. There and you you'll see the difference and yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, don't, mm -hmm. my thing is, don't push yourself. Don't just push yourself. Just set yeah. some, some timeline for mm -hmm. when it is you want to want be able to, to and don't look. And make other women who work out feel bad about it. <laughs> the, fu so the funny true. thing about That's it is thing. that when I was working out, I would see other moms saying, mm -hmm. Why these Why? women nowadays feel like they need to be working out and take what about your child? Worry about you. I'm like, we're worrying about our child too. Exactly. But we can also we're worry about, about ourselves. Because like our parents still, weren't doing that. They weren't they were working doing, out. Yeah. So it's but a different it's a generation. Different, yeah. But yeah. you know, women or age, you know, saying things like that. I'm like, don't make other people feel bad for no you pressure. Or something for themselves. Mm -hmm. Take yeah. your time and yeah. eventually and I say focus on the mental as much mm -hmm. as how you yes, focus on true. the physical. Yes. Even though feeling a particular way will 
naturally impacts yes. how you think and how you yeah. feel mm -hmm. mentally. So it's a holistic approach exactly. to getting back to where, to where or close to Snap where you can. Snap <laughs> back the mind, <laughs> so not just the body. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. And for all the us. best with your munchkins, yes. your oh, cutie cuties. So in love. We're going to take a quick break, and when we return, we'll be talking to fitness trainer Debbie. We'll be right back. <laughs> hey, Show. Ready for the show? Hashtag. Sadiqa Daram Show.